Hello everyone and warm welcome to this session. In this video, I am going to demonstrate to you image multiplication in the MATLAB environment. So for accomplishment of this task, let us switch to the editor window. I maximize the editor window. We start with the MATLAB syntaxes of close all, clear and CLC so that we can have fresh execution of our program adding a comment line to mention what is motive behind writing this particular MATLAB script. So I write here, this is a program to demonstrate the image multiplication. So first of all, we should have the input images, then we can perform the multiplication operation. So the first module it will be to read the input images into the MATLAB environment that we need to access from the current folder. So I will generate a variable capital A with the help of I am read command followed by a pair of parentheses where inside a pair of single quotes I need to specify the name of the image along with its file type. So I am going to make the use of very popular cameraman.tif image data sets. So this is the first input image. Now for a multiplication, you need to have two operands. So second image, I want to be generated as a synthetic one. And of course, for carrying out the image arithmetic operations, you need to have both the operands to be of the same size here. So here B, we are generating as the second operand here. So we are generating it as a synthetic. So the formulation here I make 0 0.4 added by zeros of the dimension size capital A. So whatever the dimensions that means row wise and column wise will be there for the image cameraman.tif that we are going to store into the variable capital A for the same or for the equal size we are having a generation of a matrix with all elements equal to zeros and then we are adding 0 0.4 as a scalar value to that. So this will be our second image. Uh, for more clarity in visualization what exactly happened, we are not having that synthetic image to have uniformity throughout in the imaging plane here. We will have a little bit of modification. We will take that variable capital B and we will put a range of uh, pixel locations from 51 to let us say 150. Again 51 to let us say 150. So this is for both the dimensions and instead of keeping all at value 0 0.4, I will put all these values in the specific range equal to 1 here. So that we can have the difference into the image plane. For few pixels, we have different pixel intensity and for rest of, we have different pixel intensity. So it will be quite convenient to judge the result of image multiplication here. So this is what reading the input images or generating the input images before applying the image multiplication operation here. So let us save this much of the script. For example, I will provide the name. This is a program underscore 26.m will be the file extension. So we have saved it. Let us check. Here it is the file generated into the current folder. The name has appeared onto the editor tab. The workspace is currently empty. Now let us run this script. So after running this script, we get to have two variables capital A and capital B because of this much of the syntax here. So capital A variable is holding the information of cameraman.tif. So this is what the image available in our current folder. So it has dimensions 256 by 256. The data type is u int 8 here. Now we have generated the second image synthetically. So this is by the use of matrix of zeros, then altering the value of those zeros and making a particular range of values equal to one here. So this is with the same size for which we have the first operand image that it is cameraman.tif. 
so that is why again the variable b is having the same dimensions 256 by 256 as it has been generated synthetically it is of the data type double here so with the arithmetics and proper assignment as we have written here so we have obtained it to the double type here now we will perform the image multiplication so this is the next module i am having a comment image multiplication so i will like to hold the result of image multiplication with the new variable that is capital c now the multiplication into the matlab environment is possible by just putting the asterisk or having dot asterisk here so whenever you want to have element to element multiplication into the operand arrays so basically the image is treated as array in this matlab environment here so that time you need to prefer for dot asterisk here otherwise simply putting asterisk will perform the matrix multiplication directly so if they are of unequal dimensions but one dimension is of the same value and if the matrix multiplication is possible so it will give you the result of image multiplication here but most of the time when you are preferring the arithmetic operations onto the images so it should be element wise here so it will be having the corresponding pixel intensity into the first image multiplied to the corresponding pixel intensity at the same location into the image 2 here so what i am going to do as for the variable a holding the information of camera mount of tif into the data type u int 8 and for the variable b as it is synthetically generated the data type value uh, with the data type double is there so we need to match the data types here so what i can do i will first of all get the first image as double so i write double of capital a here then dot asterisk will perform element wise multiplication with capital b so capital b is already in double data type here so this is what a simple formulation for image multiplication so this had to give us the result of image multiplication let us see how the visualization looks so i have the last module here that is to display the input and output images here so i'm going to make the use of subplot i will generate one row three columns in the first cell i'm going to have a display with the help of i am show command the first input image that it is camera one dot taf i'm going to display with the help of i am show hence the input argument is capital a concern title i will provide simply this is image one here by the next line i will go for next cell of this subplot so it will be one comma three comma two then use of i am show command the variable capital b will be there then the title here we are having so that it is image two by the last line we will be accessing the last cell of the subplot it will be one comma three comma three thereupon again the use of i am show but I am show sure will directly display the variables having the data types u and 8 here. So if you are having a variable of the data type double and want to display it, first of all, you need to get it converted to the u and 8 environment here. So here I write u and 8 and in the parenthesis, I will provide the variable capital C that holds the result of multiplication here. And the concerned title here, it will be result of image multiplication so i will save the changes made to the script and run this particular script so in the workspace initially only two variables were there when we checked whether it is successfully reading the images whether it is generating the images or not now we have additional variable that is c here and you see 256 by 256 of the data type double as the image multiplication we have formulated to be obtained in double data type here so we have got converted 
the first variable a from u int 8 to the double type here then perform the element wise multiplication by putting dot asterisk between the two operands here so let us see the matlab window that has popped up displaying you a subplot here so this is what the image one cameraman.tif and this is what the image two to be multiplied to the first image so as initially we had a matrix of all the zero elements for the size of the cameraman.tif and for a specific range as we had written 51 to 150 so 51 colon 150 for the row wise and for column wise also so both the dimensions we have taken and for this square display here we have made the value equal to 1 here so if you are going to have generation of a matrix by zeros or ones here so it will be black and white here so this way we have this particular shade because for the complete zeros we have added 0 0.4 so this is what the synthetic image we have generated and that has been saved with the variable capital b here so for element wise multiplication to the pixel intensities into the cameraman.tif when we perform the result of the multiplication is generated and displayed as image so this is what the scenario you see here so you regard this value equal to 1 and this value equal to 0 0.4 so whatever the value 0 0.4 is there it is less than 1 when you multiply it to the original pixel intensity it will be more darker here and when you have the display 1 multiplied to the original image so it will be the replication of the same here so although you see there it is a contrast in between this particular background region and this particular region this seems to be more brighter than this because of the contrast but it is no change in this much of the range of the cameraman.tif because it has been multiplied by the complete one here so it won't be having any changes so this much of the region of the original cameraman.tif is generated and for rest of the region there it is a change because of this gray shade you can say so this was a simple demonstration of image multiplication so yes there it is a requirement that if you need to carry out the arithmetic operations onto the images to be performed here the two operand images should be of the same size here here i have made the use of cameraman.tif instead you can make the use of another images i can make the use of pegwin.jpg so let us save the changes or run this program you see for this much of the image display from original image here you get a replication the same thing is there and for the rest of the region here you get a different pixel intensity values here so this I have demonstrated for pigwin.jpg. If you make it to, let us see, goldfish.tif. So saving the changes, running the script. Now for goldfish.tif, you see the variable A holds different dimensions. So earlier for cameraman.tif or pegwin.jpg or lena.jpg it was 256 by 256 now it is 592 by 768 so for the same size we have generated the variable b so b also holds the same dimensions but of double type here the result of multiplication will be having the same dimension here and this is what a display so let us check it so as 51 to 150 that is a quite very less range as compared to the dimensions of the goldfish.tif here that is why you see a very small square shape with the white color here so when we have the multiplication of image 1 with image 2 this is the corresponding result here so in this much of the span only there it is no change into the pixel intensity values whatever that it was original that has been generated for rest of the image plane there are differences here so I hope this demonstration of image multiplication has definitely helped you 